Alright, so my most viewed video ever on this channel sucks. Like, bad. Let's make it better. Alright, let's get into it. Do you have an old motherboard sitting around, possibly with two PCIe slots like this one? Then maybe you could use a little piece of technology to increase your PCIe slots to get maybe even five GPUs onto that two PCI slot motherboard. This little piece of technology right here, let me show you it up close. So as you can see here, it has a PCIe slot which goes into the motherboard and two USBs right there, two USBs up there, and there's nothing on the front for it to go into, and it has a little heat sink right there to keep the chip back here nice and cool. So as you can imagine, if you do some simple math, if you have two PCIe slots, you plug one in with this, you have one free one on the motherboard, and you have four USBs to hook up risers to, totaling five GPUs on your motherboard. This is huge, as you could basically take an old motherboard and make a full mining rig out of it. Five GPUs. This is super economical, as you could probably find a motherboard with two PCIe slots pretty cheap, and you won't have to buy a fancy mining motherboard that costs hundreds of dollars. It's good for the environment, good for your wallet, I'm a fan. But does it actually work? Let's find out. All right, let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is like the video. Video ain't gonna start until you do. This little piece of technology is available on Amazon, link below, Amazon affiliate link. I get a few cents if you buy it there, but make sure that you want it first. So watch the whole video. Let's get into a different shot and I will be sh demonstrating what we're doing here on my own mining rig. I already have a mining motherboard, so I am going to be removing it and replacing it with a two slot motherboard that I already have that was laying around just wasting away. Look who has joined the party. Hello. Hello. We now have the old motherboard installed. As you can see, we have two PCI slots. So let's go ahead and install that device. And boom, we now have access to install five GPUs on here. As you can see, I have now plugged in all the GPUs and it is now a full mining rig. We have four GTX 1060s in there and one 1660 Ti. Now this is not the most efficient mining rig and it's not the most up to date with the most modern GPUs I know, but you know, I'm just, I'm just a lowly little miner over here. Make sure you secure that PCI extender. This is a little bit of a big device, as you can see. It's kind of like, it's a little clunky and it can like, teeter in the slot because it's not secured to anything. So make sure you wrap a zip ties all the way around the motherboard to keep this thing firm in its slot. I think for this demonstration, I will be removing this. I think you've already seen that. I'm gonna be removing this little metal bit that is there. I'm gonna let this run for a few days and mine and see how it goes, if there's any anything that happens that is out of the ordinary, lower hash rate or minor crashes or I don't know what's going to happen. Let's just see if this thing works. I'm going to be using Hive OS. If you do not have a dedicated OS on your mining rig and you're using Windows, please get with the times. If you just mine using your gaming PC, using Windows and having nice hash is a great option. But if you have a dedicated miner, getting Hive OS is the best thing that you can possibly do. Dealing with Windows and on a mining rig is awful. It's terrible. I just made a video a few days ago on how to mine on your gaming PC like I have behind me. If you want to check that out, link below. We are back for the second half of this video and damn a lot has happened. There were a few problems I encountered when using this device. HiveOS wouldn't boot until I took the device out of the system. So whenever I put it in, HiveOS was just like, nah, not gonna do it. I think that problem is maybe because Linux doesn't support this type of device. So if you end up using this device, you cannot use Linux. So for this demonstration, I installed Windows. Once all the drivers were installed, I got NiceHash, downloaded it, all the devices showed up, I benchmarked them. I set up MSI Afterburner to limit the power of all the graphics cards to 70%. And then I boosted the memory a little bit on each graphics card to get a little bit more a uh, hash rate. I went over to start mining and it just worked. It is crazy how I turned a motherboard with two PCIe slots into a full five graphics card mining rig. I let the miner run for an hour and there were no hiccups. If there was going to be a problem, I feel like it would have happened fairly early on. So I mean, take it as you will. 
This product worked for me. If you buy this product on Amazon, which is linked in the description, just give it a shot. If it doesn't work for you, you can return it on Amazon. No questions asked. It's only 25 bucks. So, do I recommend this product? Um, yes. A lot. It is so insane that two PCIe slots is able to handle five graphics cards. That's just crazy. If you already have a mining motherboard like I do, I would suggest not getting this. <laughs> As if you were to just fill up that mining motherboard with, like, I don't know, like 10 of these? I don't... No, it's, that, that's not gonna work. I think there's a limit. If all you have is a two PCIe slot old motherboard laying around and you want to set up a five GPU mining rig, this is definitely a good choice. For me personally, I'm going to migrate my mining rig back to the mining motherboard because I like HiveOS. The convenience is just too great. If you want this product, it's in the description. It's all up to you. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto mining and cryptocurrency in general. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.